everyone, I'm Meredith Thomason, a pastry chef for Nestle Toll House, and welcome to the third episode of Bake It Easy with Toll House. This is a series that we've been doing for a few weeks now. We're trying to give you some inspiration to get in the kitchen with your family and your friends and give you some fun, easy recipes to do while we're all home together. This week, I wanted to focus on virtual hangouts. I've been doing a lot of them with my friends and family. It's the best way to keep in touch and, and make sure you're still getting that FaceTime. Um, and what I've been doing is bringing a sweet treat to my virtual hangouts or my virtual table. Um, and I wanted to give you an idea of what you could bring to your virtual table. So today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy chocolate fudge sauce that's made with our Nestle Toll House semi-sweet morsels and our carnation evaporated milk. It's a really delicious sauce. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a sundae with it, but you could also use it on pound cake or any other sweet treat that you wanna to bring to your virtual hangout. Okay, so for our fudge sauce, we're going to need a small saucepan and a whisk and I'm gonna turn the pan on medium heat. And to the pan, I'm going to add a cup and a half of our carnation evaporated milk. And then I've got a bag of our rich and creamy Nestle Toll House semi-sweet morsels. I'm gonna pour the whole bag in and that's about two cups. Yum. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is mix this together. The chocolate is gonna start melting. Um, the milk is gonna get nice and warm and together they're gonna create a really delicious creamy sauce. You wanna make sure that you don't have your heat too high on this because you don't want the chocolate to burn um, and you just wanna make sure that you get rid of any lumps and clumps that are gonna be in that sauce. Once the heat starts pe uh, penetrating the, the milk and the chocolate, it's really gonna to come together very, very quickly. So don't walk away from the pan. Once this mixes together, we're gonna to turn the heat off and I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. This recipe, um, you could use vanilla extract. This is another fun place to play with extracts. Um, coconut extract, almond extract, orange extract. You could add all sorts of different flavors to this chocolate sauce and just kind of punch it up a little bit. Um, and depending on what ice cream you're gonna pair it with, that could be a fun play on flavors as well. Okay, our chocolate sauce is made. It's warm, it smells delicious, and I can't wait to try it. So, I've got two different kinds of ice cream that I'm gonna to use to make some sundaes today. I've got some peanut butter chocolate chip ice cream and some strawberry. Totally different, but both super yummy and both go really well with chocolate sauce. So for the strawberry sundae, I've got some of our chocolate sauce already in a little uh, pitcher. I'm gonna go ahead and add that over our ice cream, yum. And I've got some fresh strawberries um, you could use any sort of fruit that you have, fresh or frozen. Um, I had some fresh strawberries, but you could use bananas, you could use blueberries, you could use peaches, cherries, whatever you've got, uh, and whatever you like putting with ice cream, go for it. So I've got some strawberries, and then I've got a mixture of our uh, Toll House semi-sweet morsels and our Premier White morsels. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and add that to this sundae as well. Oh my gosh, so many flavors, so many textures. And then I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of whipped cream, cause why not? All right, so that's the strawberry one. And then for our peanut butter chocolate chip, I made some cookies last night using our Nestle Toll House refrigerated cookie dough. So I've got some crumbled up cookie pieces and I'm gonna to toss that on top of our peanut butter chocolate chip ice cream. Yum, again, playing with flavors and textures. So I've got that. I'm going to add some sprinkles to this one as well. A little chocolate sprinkle action. And then, of course, our chocolate sauce right on top. Oh my gosh, that looks so good, you guys. Which one am I going to try? I don't know, but I think the strawberry one. I love strawberry and chocolate together. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh my gosh. You've got the hot and the cold, the sweet, the creamy, so many things going on. You guys really should try this, especially for your next virtual hangout or real hangout, whichever works. Please enjoy and please stay safe. I'll see you next time.